The ability to have a higher contact point will allow the passers to have more margin for error. The setter's ability to go up and get the ball relies on the strength in the air and the touch in their wrist. When the ball is moving tight to the net and we can't get a comfortable two hands on the ball, we can go up and get the ball with one hand. Be aware of the rule based on your level of play since some levels allow you to take the ball back from the plane of the net while others say you can't contact it as a back row setter once it has entered the plane. Here are some options you have when setting with one hand. Zone four flick. This is when we're moving towards zone four and the ball is tight to the net. We can't get two hands on it, so we have to think about performing a basketball shot. The elbow points to the outside and then your wrist flicks underneath the ball to shoot it out the appropriate distance. This takes a solid core, strengthen the upper body, and finesse to send the ball out with the correct location and tempo. As we jump off the left foot, our right knee moves up with our right elbow. As we contact the ball, the elbow will extend based on how far the ball needs to go. Slight bend or full extension if we're close or far away. We try to get setters to practice this action by performing our wall setting drill. This is the same move with the wrist, but a more extreme version. When the ball is past the target, but a little high and tight, we want to extend our arm fully to act like a backboard for the ball. We are, in essence, directing the ball to the middle blocker instead of actually setting. If we can get a little bit more wrist action, this will help soften the ball and we can control the speed and trajectory more. But in extreme situations, it's more of defending the ball from going over the net so that your middle blocker can hit, redirect, or push for an abbreviated attack. The most difficult one-handed set is going to be the flick behind. For the closer flick, we'll start with our arm extended and wrist relaxed while pointing forward. When the ball gets close, we then focus on the wrist motion and elbow pull. As our pinky and palm turn to our face, our elbow is going to retract with a pop. The movements happen simultaneously and create a pop so the ball can get out quickly. However, if we want to go a farther distance to the fly, red, or D-ball, then our elbow is going to start bent with our wrist facing out from the net. Our shoulder and elbow will be slightly stiff so they can work together to produce the power it takes to send the ball a greater distance. The wrist won't flick as much, but the arm moving up and through will get the ball moving up and farther away.